In this class, we will learn about using layers in Max. Layers make it possible to hide elements which are not necessary when modeling. And freeze reference objects and other tools to help in the modeling process. So let's begin our class. After importing the design, assess the manager layers on the main toolbar. See, there were several layers in the file, and Max kept them as they were previously organized. In order to know which layer the desired object is in, just check the name of the layer or even click beside the layer on the Hide column to view the objects in the viewport and hide them from the scene. We can see the layers displayed with the P1 prefix are objects related to the first floor. Layers with P2 are related to the second floor, and so on. To optimize our work, we need to manipulate these layers so our modeling can be more productive. So let's create some additional layers for 3D models. After the layer manager is open, just click the Create Layer option. If any object in the scene is selected, it will be linked to the new layer. If not, this option will create an empty layer. The new layer will be named Layer 01 and it will be placed in alphabetical order. Click Layer 01 and type the name 3D Underline Walls. We will repeat this process for the other parts of the design, staircase, doors, windows, and the lawn. See how the layer manager looks now. There are layers for 3D objects such as walls and the lawn. These layers are still empty, as we'll place objects while modeling. There are also layers for 2D objects used as references. We can also assess the Manage Layer tools on the Display tab. However, we can't organize the design based on groups. It must be based on categories such as geometries, shapes, light, and others. These categories can also be assessed on the main menu in Selection Filter. This selection box enables category-based selection. Right now, there isn't any geometry in the scene, but we can still select geometries. It is possible to still select shapes and other options. So in this class, we have studied about effectively organizing your design. Creating mock-ups requires a great deal of elements in the scene which may be geometries, helpers, lights, and other options. Our knowledge of these organizational tools makes it possible to filter these elements and achieve greater productivity.